So Paul says this, Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation if you continue in your faith. Established and firm, and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel. This is the gospel that you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. Jesus, Jesus took it personal to do this for us. Paul makes it personal, his life personal, back to God. Right? Look, before Christ you were separated from God. It was nearly impossible for you to be reconnected with him. We were enemies of God. The things we did, we, we thought we didn't even have to have God tell us we were evil. We knew as we did evil acts in our minds that we were evil. But if we can have faith and continue in the faith, Paul says that faith, hope, and glory, that hope of eternal life, that's available to us by continuing in our faith. And that God wants to help us walk along in our faith in the process. He didn't just come and do one act and go and depart. He came and stayed. He didn't just come into your heart one night at an altar. He came to walk you through the darkest night that you'll ever go through. And to be right beside you. Jesus didn't come to leave. He came to stay. And for that, Paul says, I'm your servant.